Hey everybody, this is Matthew, and we're going to do something pretty cool in this video. We're going to tie our Cloud CMA lead generation tool to our Playster site. Now, Playster is a great way to get up and running on um, online. It's a great uh, place to start an online presence and, and make your hub and your marketing. And um, we want to also have a call to action to it. So in this one, I've got a home valuation tool on here. And when you go and click on it, what you'll see is it takes us to another page. And in here, what's my home value? When I click on it, it's going to take me to my Cloud CMA home value uh, page. So, or what's my home worth? What happens here is a consumer can log in, I mean, not log in rather, but type in their home address go to the search process, it'll ask for their name, their email address, <clears throat> and then send them an automated report which you can set up in Cloud CMA. And we do other tutorials and videos on how that works. So I won't break here to do that. You can look elsewhere. And so it gives, it'll send you an email letting you know someone's made that inquiry so you can respond. You know, again, you pre we prefer you respond in 15 minutes to get the most out of it. But um, this is a website to get them to give you information in return for uh, information. So that's on my Playster site. I'm going to close that for a minute and then we're going to talk about how to get there. There are two options and the one I like is creating a page that they can click on, have a nice video and click on that one. The other one is simply go straight from the menu. So I'm going to do the uh, one that has a few extra steps first. You're on your uh, Playster site at home this is the back end when you log in to do your settings. So we're going to go to pages. We're going to hit the plus sign to create a new page. We're going to name this home value two because we're creating another one. This is for the demo. You can name it whatever you want. Um, get my homes value, whatever you want to name it. And we want to add a graphic here. So I love Canva. Canva is free. It's got some pre-done stuff. If you're not, uh, even though I, I love Photoshop and um, uh, InDesign and all those types of things, this is a nice, easy tool for quickly doing a graphic. So I'm going to go to create a design. That's the load page once you have logged in. I'm going to go click on blog title. This 560 by 315 is just the size that I want for my page. It's already pre-done for me. Once I've clicked on the typographic I want, it takes me to layout. So I'm going to scroll down, and there's lots here, and you can look and see which one works for you best. I like this one with the box, so I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to get rid of this background graphic because I really want something more real estate-y. And I've already uploaded one, so I click on Uploads. You can click here to upload a graphic if you have it. I've already done that for this tutorial. So I'm going to take that one and move it onto the, the site. So the whole canvas is taken over by this. And I don't really, you know, let's use this one. I'm going to drag this one down. And this is going to be Fredericksburg, Virginia, home values. You can put whatever you want there and, and design it however you wish. I'm going to take this graphic and I'm going to pull out, or again, you can do whatever you want here. I'm going to change this to about 18 point font. Find uh, my homes value all right and just for design purposes, I'm move that down a little bit I'm gonna get rid of this top one I don't really need that and then I'm just gonna download all right and I'm gonna download as PNG is fine so while that's downloading I'm gonna go back over here now remember where we left off we're now setting up a new page on our site we've named it and we're going to add this graphic. So I'm going to go here and click on Upload Image. I'm going to drag the graphic over here and drop it in the image box. And there's my graphic. But I need to do an extra step. I want the somebody. I want the when the person clicks on the graphic for an action to occur. I want it to go to another website. So I go back over here to Cloud CMA. I'm going to go where to get this link that says here's a link to that landing page. I'm going to copy it all. Make sure you get it all. I'm going to go back to my Playster site where I left off uh, with a link to the graphic. And I'm going to paste that graphic here where it says link. And then I'm going to under position put center. I want that graphic to center on the page. And then this is a personal preference. I like that when I go to a page with uh, on my website, website, it goes to create a new tab, these being tabs. So when the person clicks it, it opens up a new one so they can come back here to your website and take other actions. I'm going to hit save. 
and then under SEO I've already pre-typed some in here but you can put whatever you want this is what Google is going to index so make sure this is a good line that lets people know what that page is about make sure you use your city state of the market area you have in there and then I'm gonna hit save and then it's going to say, do you want to add this page to your place or site? And I said, yeah, I want to go here. And it shows here's get my home value. This is the tab I just created. I'll hit save. And when I go back to my web page and I refresh it, you see that the get my home value page link is here in the, the menu. I'm going to click on that. And there's the graphic I created in, in Canva. And when I click on that, it's going to take me to the what's my home worth page and then the consumer can go and do what they need to do there and as i mentioned earlier there is a second option i like them going to another page on my site where i have the seo where i can put in the title and the description and have this nice clean graphic here for them to click on but if you would rather them go and click on this and go straight to the page and avoid this extra step we can do that too so i'm going to go to playster i'm going to go to under site settings click on menu and this takes me right to my menu and this is my menu bar right here so now I'm gonna to go to add I clicked the wrong one I'm gonna click on this drop menu next to add and go to custom URL and I'm gonna add the custom URL the label will be whatever you want to show up in your menu so we're going to say home value three just for training purposes and another url guess what that url that we copied from where's your link is going to go in there and then i'm going to hit add so i can finish that process and that one's already added now and i'm going to hit save and now that that's saved i'm going to go back to my page i'm going to refresh the home page And then you can see I've got another menu item, home value three. You do want to be, and you can see here how it's moved underneath. There's lots of themes in Playster, but you only get so many of these tabs before it needs to, to do a second layer. So be careful how long the name is. But you can see here, I've got home value three, which I just created. And when I click that, it goes straight to what's my home worth. And again, that's option two. If you don't really want the SEO, if you don't really want the graphic, you can go straight to the page. That it makes it cleaner for your, your consumer. No matter what you do, you don't want any more than three clicks to get what they want. So either option one or option two is more of your preference. Like I said, I like option two, where it takes them to the nice graphic and they can get other information and contact me and all the rest. So that's it. Those are your two options on tying in Cloud CMA to your Playster site. I hope you enjoy and happy hunting. <laughs>